Good morning everyone. Monday morning, still mon the morning, Monday morning and this is us into week three of lockdown. I hope everyone had a good rested weekend. Um, I want people to think of the days when they said that they wished the weekend could last forever. This is your opportunity to take that up because the weekend is certainly lasting forever now. Um, I also want all my um, craft and hobbies friends to know that I'm not wasting my time. I'm on my knitting and baby Brody will be getting this lovely wee tank top when I get the buttons and the last wee bits of wool sewn in. So don't waste your time. Uh, start getting all those things that you wished you had time to do. Get them all done and baby Brody will have the most knitting in the whole of the place um, soon, whether he's going to wear them or not. Um, this is uh, the start of Holy Week today, uh, leading up to um, Easter weekend, and uh, this is the day that Jesus went into the temple, and um, we all know that story, and so those are the readings that I'm going to do today. So I'm going to have two readings today. The first reading is Isaiah chapter 56, and it says, This is what the Lord says. Maintain justice and do what is right, for my salvation is close at hand, and my righteousness will soon be revealed. Blessed is the one who does this, the person who holds it fast, who keeps the Sabbath without dec decreting it and keeps their hands from doing any evil. Let no foreigner who is bound to the Lord say, The Lord will surely exclude me from his people. And let no you not complain, I am only a dry tree. For this is what the Lord says to the eunuch who keeps my Sabbath, who chooses to please me and hold fast to my covenant. To them I will give within my temple and its walls a memorial and a name better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that will endure forever. And foreigners who bind themselves to the Lord to minister to him, to love the name of the Lord and to be his servants, and all who keep the Sabbath without desecrating it, and who hold fast to my covenant, these will I bring to my holy mountain and give them joy in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. For my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. The sovereign Lord declares, He who gathers the exiles of Israel, I will gather still others to them, besides those already gathered. And then in Luke chapter 19, which we've already had some of the triumphant um, approach to Jerusalem, down at the end of the chapter, verse 41, Jesus weeps over Jerusalem. He came closer to the city, and when he saw it, he wept over it, saying, If you only knew today what is needed for peace, but now you cannot see it. The time will come when your enemies will surround you with barricades, blockade you and close in on you from every side. They will completely destroy you and the people within your walls. Not a single stone will they leave in its place because you did not recognise the time when God came to save you. Then Jesus went into the temple and began to drive out the merchants, saying to them, it is written in the scriptures that God said, My temple will be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a hideout for thieves. Every day Jesus taught in the temple. The chief priests, the teachers of the law and the teachers of the people wanted to kill him, but they could not find a way to do it because all the people kept listening to him, not wanting to miss a single word. Amen, and God bless these readings from his holy word. And we will try over the week to um, read some of the readings for Holy Week uh, as each day goes on towards Easter and, and to the weekend. Um, there will be services, hopefully, on um, Facebook and on our website on Thursday and Friday and then our service on Easter Monday. Sorry. So... Sorry, Easter Sunday. So don't forget 
that um, that they will be there. Uh, we'll get the times for you for Thursday and Friday, uh, and we'll let you know tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, but have a look on our Facebook page because we are sharing as many of the resources that we can from other churches, from the Church of Scotland itself, from the moderator and his wife, and from the presbytery. Um, lots of other churches have lots of innovative ways of keeping people um, worshipping and keeping people together. And we're putting on there as many as we can. Um, there will be something there which will suit everyone. So have a wee look. Uh, let us know if you would like other readings for next week. Mabub asked in the service on Sunday for any favourite hymns for services going forward. If you've got any favourite hymns that you would like, let us know. If you've got any favourite readings, let us know um, and we'll do our best to include them in services going ahead because it looks as if we might be here for some time. So get on with your knitting, everyone. Um, hopefully I'll be able to bring this back to you with buttons on it so that wee baby Brody can um, look really smart um, and use your time well, but stay in and stay safe. And we'll see you tomorrow.